Hello, I'm Robert van Lochem from Xebia Mobile. I'm going to be talking about setting up JHUnit in Xcode 4. So first I'm going to start by creating a, a very simple project. So going to be called my first TD project. Make sure you don't include unit tests because we're not going to use OC unit, but we're going to use GH unit. So second of all is uh, find a place where we can save the project. Also make sure that you use the create local Git repository for this project because in a later video, we're going to be using Jenkins to automatically build our project. And, and one of the ways of doing it is by having Jenkins look at the Git repository in checking if there are any changes. So now you see our uh, my first TDE project with uh, our target. And if I run it, you can see uh, that the application is loaded. There is a very nice table view. Well, the default, of course, very simple. So. Let's quit the simulator again. And the thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to create a target. And that target is going to run our unit tests. And now the unit tests are only going to test the uh, application logic. So not the UI view components themselves. For this, just going to select a very simple view based application. I'm going to delete most of the files that are generated by Xcode 4. First of all, create the product name tests. Well, it's very clear what they do. They run the tests. Doesn't matter which device family you do. Don't include the unit tests. You can see that the tests folder has been created with lots of generated files, which we're not going to be needed. So I'm going to delete them somewhere later on. The first thing is add a framework. So in the build phases, link binary with the libraries, I'm going to add the GH unit, which you can download at this location. As you can see, it's not part of the standard iOS 4.3 SDK. So once you've downloaded it, just include it like uh, I'm currently doing. And one thing I'm doing here is I'm uh, including it from my own user directory because I've noticed that if I include it from the uh, slash developer slash library framework that uh, Xcode 4 will uh, give a compilation error and it will miss the header files. So here you can see that I've in included the JHUnit framework. Make sure it's also very nice and tightly put in the frameworks folder there. Just drag it. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set some compiler flags. So in the other linker. I'm going to be adding minus objective C. And minus all underscore load. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to delete some files, which we don't need, because we actually just want to have a runner, which invokes all our unit tests, which are in turn implementations, all .m files. Next thing to do is in the test info plist is remove the main nib file base name. Just make sure that the value is empty and you're done. Make sure you also save it, of course. Next up is to create the actual runner. So make a class of MS object. Make sure that the class is added to the test target and not the uh, my first TTE project. Uh, remove the header file and you can download the runner at GHUnit iOS test in, in the um, GitHub repository of uh, Mr. Gabriel there. And next thing is I'm going to create an actual test case. 
So again, make sure it's added to the test target because I want those things to be compiled by the tests and run. And here's my actual uh, test case, which is called example test, which has two test methods, test foo and test bar. The test foo is going to fail now because I'm going to be comparing foo with bar, which is not equal. Test bar, well, you can see it's uh, assert true, true. So with that done, I can actually now run my test because it's using the JTunit IS framework. So let's do that now. You can run it on the iOS device, but I'm going to be run in the simulator. Ah, there's an error. So I forgot something, which is of course that there are two .m files with both of them, which have a main. So I'm going to delete the uh, the main .m, which was generated by Xcode, and run it again. JTune is actually running. It's scanned my example test. I'm going to run it. And as you can see, the test bar is green, or black in this case, it works, but the test foo is red, and you can see a very nice stack trace. So you can also search and filter. So let's fix the example test. Let's make it green, or in this case, black. So I'm going to compare foo with foo, which is, of course, equal. Again, running it on the iPhone 4.3 simulator. And run it again. And you can see it's perfectly fine. So this is how you set up JHUnit within Xcode 4. Okay, that's it for me, Robert van Lochem from CBM Mobile. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to hook this all up in Jenkins in the continuous integration environment. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.